everyone this is varsha welcome to programming knowledge so in this tutorial we will understand what are the navigational commands what are the different types of navigation commands with their syntax we will implement some test cases also we will understand the difference between the navigate dot to command and the get command in the previous tutorial i explained about the browser commands you can check out the tutorial uh, i'll give the link in the description box we will understand what is the navigation commands today so first let us understand what is navigation commands now the web driver provides some basic browser navigation commands that allows the browser to move backward forward or to refresh the browser see here you can see these buttons that is the back and the forward and the refresh so we will be handling these buttons through selenium web driver like for example suppose if i type uh, selenium web driver i am navigated to this page right now what if i want to go back so i'll click on the back button if i want to move forward i'll click on the forward button and if i want to refresh the browser i will click on refresh right so these are the buttons that we will be inspecting today for that we have the navigational commands now how do we find it's a navigation command we simply write driver dot navigate dot and the commands that is highlighted over here are the navigational commands okay also i have prepared the sheet over here in which i have written uh, what are the navigational commands their description their syntax also what parameter it accepts and what it returns i will give the link in the description box just by clicking it you can download the pdf also i have attached the pdf in my drive so i will give the link of this drive as well so you can get the access of the uh, navigational commands in pdf format also the test cases that we are going to implement today so moving on to the test case today we are going to implement two test cases this is the first one and this is the second one so the first one says that first we have to launch the chrome browser then we have to open the amazon website maximize the window and then we have to navigate to the ebay website through driver.navigate.to command then we have to enter some value in the search box we will refresh the page we will navigate back then we will navigate forward and then we will close the browser this is the first test case that we will implement today so open your intellij idea ide now under package com.selenium i have already created a java class i have named it as selenium tutorials 11 so first is that we have to launch the chrome browser the test case says that we have to launch the chrome browser for that we have to write system.set property in which the key is the webdriver.chrome.driver and the value is the executable file of the chrome driver Next I will write driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver. So the next command is that we have to open the amazon site. We will be using the driver.get command. So I will write driver.get and I will write my URL over here that is the amazon website. I'll simply copy this and I'll paste it over here. Okay? The next command is to maximize the window. so i will write driver dot manage dot window dot maximize okay this will maximize the window the next is the next test case is that we have to navigate to the ebay website so we will be using the driver dot navigate dot to method okay so i will write driver dot navigate dot to so i'll write my url over here this is the url i'll simply copy this and i'll paste it over here now the driver.navigate.to method it loads a new page in the current browser so this will be loading a new page in the current browser the same browser in which it is loading amazon it will load the new page that is the ebay page in the current browser and it will accept the parameter that is the string parameter is accepted over here you can here you can see we have written the string parameter over here and it will return nothing okay so let's execute this so my chrome browser has launched it's navigated to amazon and then it's navigated to ebay uh, i'll simply write as out okay so now uh, let's execute so my chrome browser is launched it's navigated to amazon 
it's maximized and then it is navigated to eBay through driver.navigate.2 method okay and here you can see the output that is it's opening the amazon page through driver.get and then it is navigated to ebay through driver.navigate.2 method okay so so far first we will open the chrome browser then we are opening the amazon page then we are maximizing the window then we are navigating to the ebay page through driver.navigate.2 command okay so the next test case is that I have to enter some value this is the search box I have to enter some value in it so I'll just inspect I'll click I'll right click it and here I here I can see there is selectors hub so I'll just click on copy relative x path I'll write driver dot find element by dot x path and I'll write my x path over here and since I want to send some commands so I'll write send keys and I'll write t-shirts for men okay so I have entered some value and then I have to refresh it. It's the same as here you can see there is a refresh button right. So if I write t-shirt for men and then I refresh it here you can see there is no text right that means it is refreshed. So what I'll do I will write driver dot navigate dot refresh through this command my browser will be refreshed. So I'll just write thread dot sleep and I'll write some time over here I'll write refresh the browser okay so next is that we have to navigate back to Amazon so I will just write a driver dot navigate dot back okay and I'll give some time over here I'll just write thread dot sleep and I'll give some time over here which is navigated back to Amazon okay so let's run this so my Chrome browser is launched it's navigated to Amazon and it's maximized then it's navigated to eBay then t-shirts for men is sent it's refreshed and here you can see it's navigated back to Amazon here it is opening the Amazon page first we will open the Amazon page through driver.get method then we navigated to eBay through driver.navigate.2 method then we have refreshed the browser and then the page is navigated back to Amazon now this driver.navigate.back method is used to return to the previous page in the browser's history in our browser history the previous page was the Amazon page so it was returning the Amazon page okay and it uh, accepts nothing as a parameter uh, here there is no parameter and it accepts nothing as a parameter also it returns nothing okay similarly uh, the refresh browse the refresh command that, that is the uh, driver.navigate.refresh method this acts similar to the refresh button of the browser like here you can see this is the refresh button of the browser this acts similar to that uh, uh, button and it accepts nothing as a parameter and it also returns nothing as a parameter okay. our next test case is that we have to navigate forward to ebay so i will write driver dot navigate dot forward i will also uh, write thread dot sleep i'll give some time over here then i want to print so let's execute this so my chrome browser is launched it's navigated to amazon it's maximized and then it's navigated to ebay t-shirts for men is sent it's refreshed and it's navigated back to amazon then again it's navigated forward to ebay next our next test case is that we have to close the browser so i will write driver dot close we will not use the quit command because there is no window or any tab open see here all the operations are performing in uh, the current tab only there are no other tabs that is opening like if you're thinking like for amazon is one tab the ebay is the other tab no it is opening in the current browser and all the operations is performed in the current browser only that is it is navigating back or forward in the current browser so that's why we are, we are writing driver.close so i'll execute this again my chrome browser is launched it's navigated to amazon it's maximized it's navigated to ebay 
T search for men is sent and it's refreshed. It's navigating back to Amazon and then again it's navigating forward to eBay and it's closed. So far first we navigated to eBay from Amazon to eBay we navigated through driver.navigate.to method. Now this method loads a new web page in the current browser window and it also accepts string as a parameter but it returns nothing. That is the driver.navigate.to method. Okay. Next after uh, navigating to eBay we entered some text values we entered some values in the test search box and then we refresh the browser the refresh method it does the same operation as clicking on the refresh button on the browser when we click the refresh button on the browser it does the same operation and it accepts nothing as a parameter also returns nothing next we were navigating back again to the amazon website since we were on the ebay website and we were entering some value and we refreshed the page then after that we navigated back to the previous page we used the driver.navigate.back command which is used to return the previous page in the browser's history okay and it accepts nothing as a parameter it also returns nothing as next after uh, navigating to back command we are in, on the amazon web page uh, on the amazon website we navigated forward to the ebay page that is the next page okay all the operations are performed on the current browser only there is no other new tab or window that is opened it is on the current window itself so for the forward we use the driver dot navigate dot forward method in which we moved forward to the next page that is the ebay page and uh, the forward command it accepts nothing as a parameter and it also returns nothing so this is all about the first test case now let us execute the second test case so now let's execute the second test case just open your IntelliJ IDEA ID and I have already created a Java class that is the Selenium tutorials drive Java class in the package com.selenium and the first test case that we are having is that we have to launch the Chrome browser for which I have written system.set property. I have given the key as the webdriver.chrome.driver and the value is the Chrome driver executable file. Next I have written webdriver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. The next test case is that we have to navigate to the page and this is the page that we will automate today. So I will use driver dot navigate dot to command and I will insert the URL over here that is this is the URL. Now this driver dot navigate dot to command it accepts string as a parameter and it returns nothing. So let's execute this. So my Chrome browser is launched. It's navigated to the webtest.com. Okay. So the next command is that we have to maximize the browser. So I will just write driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Through this command, my window will be maximized. Next test case is that I have to inspect this element. That is, I have to click on this button. That is the get start button. So I'll just right click on it, and I have this. Uh, selectors hub option over here i'll click on copy relative expat this tool is amazing that is a selectors hub tool you can just simply right click on any element and you will get the option over there like selectors hub and you can copy your relative expat over here okay so uh, i'll just write driver dot find element by dot expat and i will paste my relative expat over here and since i want to click on this button so i will uh, click on click method so let's execute this so my chrome browser is launched it's navigated to the wordpress website it's maximized and here it's the button is clicked that is a get start button is clicked over here okay so now next is that i have to navigate back to the home page so i'll just write driver dot navigate dot back i'll also give some time over here so i'll just write thread dot sleep now let's execute so my chrome browser is launched it's navigated to wordpress it's maximized and the button is clicked and it's navigated back to the home page okay so the next command is that we have to again go back to the get start page so I'll just write driver dot navigate dot forward and I'll give some time. So I'll write uh, thread dot sleep and I'll specify some time over here that is 5000 
and then let's run this command. So my Chrome browser is launched. It's navigated to the WordPress website. It's maximized and the button is clicked. We are navigated back to the home page. We are navigated forward to the get start page. Okay, next is that we have to perform the refresh operation. So I'll write driver dot navigate dot refresh and then we have to close the browser. So I'll write driver dot close. We specify some time over here. So I'll write thread dot sleep and here also I'll write thread dot sleep. Now let's execute this. So my Chrome browser is launched. It's navigating the WordPress website. It's maximized. Okay, so the get start button is clicked. We're navigating back to the home page. Navigating forward to the get start page. Refresh. And the browser is closed. So this is all about the uh, navigation commands in which we have the navigate to method which loads a new web page in the current browser window and it accepts string as a parameter and returns nothing. Next we have the refresh command which works same as the refresh button of any browser. This is the uh, refresh button of the browser and the syntax is at the driver.navigate.refresh and it accepts nothing as a parameter and it returns nothing. Next is the back command used to return the previous page in the browser's history. The syntax is that the driver.navigate.back command and it accepts nothing as a parameter also returns nothing. Next we have the forward command. We will move to the forward page through driver.navigate.forward command. So these are the navigation commands that we have studied today. Also we have executed two test cases out of it. Next let us learn the difference between the driver.navigate.2 and the driver.get. Since when we write driver.navigate.2 uh, and we write the URL over here, it performs the same operation. Also when we write driver.get, it performs the same operation, but yet they both are different. Okay. Now the driver.navigate.2 command, it is responsible for redirecting the page and then returning immediately. Like through driver.navigate, we can navigate to forward, we can uh, we can write driver.navigate.back, then we, we can write driver.navigate.refresh. But is there any command like driver.get.forward? No, right? There is no command as such. So driver.get is responsible for loading the page and it waits until the page has finished loading. That's it. That, that is what driver.get is responsible for. Whereas driver.navigate is responsible for redirecting the page. We can perform the navigation uh, operations like we can move forward, we can move backwards and then we can refresh the browser. So this is what is driver.navigate responsible for. Also, the driver.navigator2 command, it tracks the browser history and can perform back and forth in the browser. Like we have seen in the test cases, we were performing the back operation and the forward operation. So it tracks the browser history, whereas the driver.get does not track any of the history of the browser. Like through driver.get.forward, there's no such command. So the, it is not tracking any of the history of the browser. So these are the major two differences between the driver.net driver.navigate.2 command and the driver.get command. So this is all for today. In the next tutorial, we will understand about the web element commands. I have also provided this sheet in which I have written the commands, description, syntax and what parameter it accepts and returns. I will provide the link in the description box. You can directly download the PDF format. Also the link to the drive also I will provide in the description box. So it will be very useful for you to revise uh, during your interviews. So this is all for today. So please like, share and subscribe this video. Thank you.